cute little thing. Yeah, they took the tarp off. They had a. Yeah, it looks better than I thought. The hood was covered with a piece of carpet and a tarp, and you said I that. I didn't even think the steering wheel was on it when I first looked at the picture. The engine turns though. Yeah, it's not there stuck. Was, there was one picture on the ad, and it had it was all covered. I didn't think the steering wheel was on it. So, well, we ought to be able to get that to run. Don't you think? Well, we're sure gonna have to give it a try. I think. I, I don't know. This thing looks okay to me. Sure. You know. It's just a little tractor. Dad bought himself a new prize. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been sitting here? Don't know. I'd say five or six years anyway. Yeah. The guy that owned it passed away and and I really don't know. I asked if it was driven here and I kind of think it was if you looked at how this is. Sure. So maybe we'll try to drive it out. Okay. Yeah, the fenders are decent on it. It's got a hitch. There's no drawbar, but that don't really matter. It's got a drawbar. It's a ball in it. Oh, I do see it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, you know, but look at those wheels. They won't go any other way. They're right. smaller than the drums. So. Yeah. This is, and look at how wide the thing is. That's why I needed your trailer. I like the wood block under the seat. That's probably at least eight feet wide. That may even stick over on your trailer a little bit. Oh, no. It'll be fine. Yeah, wood blocks are good. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Three-cylinder diesel engine? Three-cylinder Perkins. Three-cylinder Perkins. Looks like there's no D. Which I Maybe we'll see if they can... It's what do you think about a key? Any idea? Got fuel in it. Looks like no battery. And the mice have chewed through the fuel return line. Because I hope that's the return line. Looks like it goes up to the top of the tank. We don't have a key. So we're going to have to hot wire it some way. Looks like it's a manual shut off. So we shouldn't even need a key. Just jump the starter here. Uh, but that's the fuel pump, and there's nothing hooked to it. Is that going to be a problem? Well, I finally figured out if you take the shop back and you reverse it and you stick it on the gas tank, it'll it'll prime it. Yeah. This is the negative, I think. Okay, so we want the positive to the other side. Uh, to that side. Yeah. That I don't know. Line's gonna be. That's gonna. I don't know. We may have to pull that around and stick it in the bucket of fuel. There you go. All right, so that's there, and that's, you notice how I cleaned all that. So the pump sticking out there with a filter is truly mechanical, runs off the dam or something? Yeah, it's just like a gas fuel pump yeah, on an okay. old car. And they're and usually, we're going to have to. And then it has an injector pump too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and this is pretty good gravity because the tank's up above. Yeah, but I see that. A lot of times they aren't. Okay. And so... Did you look at the injection system on it? I wonder what kind of pump it even is. Should be a CAV, I would think, right? Well, that's what all the masses always are. So what are we going to do here? Just kind of try this? I mean, I see an injection pump. Yeah. Looks to be in one piece. There's a dipstick over there. Should we check and see if it's got any oil in it? It might not hurt. Okay. Standard done. That's going to end up being a mess. It's the new Ruzi. It's not yeah. a CAV. That's a CAV. It's got a CAV, it's got a CAV, it's got a CAV tag right on it. It is? Yeah. Really? Boy, it sure looks like a Ruzi. I, that's what's the exact pump that's on my uh, forklift. Oh, it says and there's a bleeder there and a bleeder there. It says CAV right okay, there. Okay, so that's fine. That's got that's a oil in it. CAV stuff's usually pretty good. Okay. See how many mice are in here? These all separate. The motor and the, all the oils are separate. Yeah. Okay, a lot. That says 05 on that. Yeah, well, that's so that's not terribly far. Well, I don't far know. in the past that's 20 years, <laughs> it's 20 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that's right. <laughs> it ain't 15. That. That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll leave that out and ether there. Oh, yep. And let's get this out. And Joe Coleman did the uh, grocery stuff. That was such a nice guy. Well, we were talking about that yesterday. My one of my cousins, of course, they're 50 years old, they're all my kids' age. She comes up and, hey, whoa, smoke. something smoked up above. That's all right. Let her smoke. That's just, <laughs> just the battery cables. Yeah. 
Right so what are we gonna do in this if it goes? I don't know. Let's let it run a little bit and see what I got a flat tire here. You bring uh, not quite there. flat. You bring, you bring it this thing. I, I got a tank. Okay. I don't know. Let's try ether in it. I guess we're in we're on, aren't we? The cable's in. It's gotta be. All right. I mean, it, or is that not how this works? I don't know. We'll find there, out. There's the cable. Yeah, we're okay. We're, yeah. We should be Mechanical. On. Yeah, it's just a mechanical show. Let's try a little ether, Wes. You ready? Yep. That's a little knot. <laughs> well, I'll keep ethering it. I don't want to do it forever. Okay. Well, here we go. Sure, the injector pump is start, on. Uh, we need to start bleeding. Okay. Yeah. Where you want to think? Just start over at the pump there. We got bleeders in the pump on this. Yeah. Which is weird. So what do you need? Like a. Well, let's start at the filter. I don't know if there's a bleed on the bottom of it or not. I didn't see one. Huh? You got a half inch wrench over yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I got no yeah. fuel at the pump. The but there's a shutoff up. valve up here. Huh? It says if they, you shut it off, the next trip will be the... It's, it's on. Okay. I got air and nozzle. Okay. I think it's time to blow back. I think so, yep. We're plugged up in the bottom of the tank. Evidently. That didn't do nothing. <laughs> Pull the cap. I'll go the other way. Blow down through the tank. Well, it's safer to do what you're doing if it works because it, you don't know about the seams on the tank. Right. <laughs> I speak from experience. <laughs> Blown that shit up. Can you imagine if there would have been cameras around when, you know, 20, 30 oh, years man, ago we, we were, were talking about, about that stuff. the other day. There's no photographic image we were ever even alive. You wouldn't have wanted photographic stuff from when Roger and I were kids with my dad and our no, grandpa. No, no. They'd get you locked up. Well, and, and, and <laughs> right. they might they might whack you for doing it. So, so what do you think here, Grandpa Swain? This was in a constant the accident waiting to happen. Right, and and did. Yeah, yeah. In the end. Did. Yeah. So we just undo the hose clamp there, stick the thread yeah. end down in the tank. Yeah, that should work. I think of this and tape that. What you do you think? Yeah. You're better off to put it down into the fuel because yeah. you don't get enough. I think okay, I think and then siphon out. Yeah, that's that's right. That transfer pump should pull. So we go a back bit. like this. And we go through there. Yep. All right. Gotta take that end loose and stick it on here. Here's our rig up. So that means our we got fuel here. Can we uh, strap that tank down, or you got, you got a tarp strap or something? The throttle, Wes. I don't want another one of those crawler deals. Take off on you, dude. <laughs> we'll put her in the middle. Yeah, I'm telling you. Are we ready then? Uh, yeah. Hit it. Yeah. Uh, I got a question. Before bleeding, did you blow back down on it after you hooked everything back up? I did. Yeah, we're going to have to bleed. I was still getting fuel, so I think it's okay. I think this pump may not be doing anything. Yeah, well, if the tank's plugged up, the pump's probably plugged up too. mean is transfer pumps not working well the transfers that what the filters hooked to there's a transfer pump on the injection pump. yeah crack that in inlet line loose again just make sure there's still fuel coming in Where's our croissant? so there's a pump prior to the injector pump there's three and then there's a pump on this filter wow well the injection pump inherently has like a is a 30 pound bump up pump or I think it's like 60 or something yeah <laughs> Thank you. 
see. I bet I won't have. I bet I won't have fuel when I break this line. Yeah, we're just yeah. running out of fuel. I think it's. Yeah, if we had a better fuel line, I think we could make this work. Yeah. Well, we we've got what we need. The injection pump was working. We may have to bleed these injector lines. Right. But they, we shouldn't have to. Not when it runs out long. We had at least two. Yeah. We're definitely missing at least one though. Right. And we always were. It never did run on all three. No, I don't think so. Good with the ether. But it had oil pressure. I wonder if it's got any water in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I ain't worried about that really. It probably doesn't. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nothing in there. Well, what you worry about is somebody just putting water in them and then sitting them for a winter. Or, right. And that could, easily, all that could easily be. happened here to make it run better at the beginning I, I don't know better supply of fuel I guess I think it's you may not be getting a good siphon it may be siphoning but just right not right near the volume you need Maybe okay we... so we were gonna blow in it while it was running let's try that okay next. yep I think it's a, that's a good idea so we'll get, I'll get a little rpm and then I'll blow in the tank okay I'm sure this is in the book somewhere I'm sure <laughs> yep field in the tank. Field, All of this. field service <laughs> manual <laughs>
Don't try this at home, people. Yep, let's shut her down. Well, we're out of hole. Cool. Yeah, let's see if we can get some water. Yeah, we better put some water in. I don't want to run too long without water. Let's see if these guys have got some. <laughs> I don't want to break it now. This is progress. Yeah. Two flat tires. I don't know. Just one, really. The other one's okay. That one over there, up. I mean, it's up enough to go on the trailer. Well, we we still got air. Well, that wasn't too bad. A couple quarts low. Well, believe it or not, this is going better than expected. It runs. It drives. Got itself out of its hole. Doesn't run very good though. We haven't got all three cylinders yet, I don't think. And it just doesn't have enough fuel to really run the way it should. We keep having to spray ether to keep it running. So we're gonna try to rig up a better fuel hose. See if we can get a little more flow, a little more pressure. We might have to take the tank and just put it up on top of the canopy so we get a little more gravity flow. This fuel system's all screwed up. So they had a mechanical pump here and somebody's bypassed it and put on all this rubber hose so i don't know we'll do the best we can power steering doesn't work we're gonna fill up the reservoir here hopefully that comes back the hydraulics do seem to be working the hitch came up it's kind of a cool place it's hard to tell but we're actually on an island between two rivers so it's real sandy soil check out these beans apparently half of his planter stopped working and he didn't know until they came up you own my funnel. Looks pretty good. Oop, I think I'm full. Uh-oh. Now what? Yeah, I am full. So, there's a mess. That's alright, we'll edit that out. So it's full, it didn't take very much. We'll probably have to put more in those cylinders, probably empty too. And your name or not here. Right. You're a phone. Yeah. And, you know, he's still there. I got ads. Don't miss a sale. And right in my ad, it always says, no text. <laughs> Charlie says, no text. They just pissed me off. I saw one the other day. The guy said, I'll, I'll come down $100 if you just call me instead of texting me. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'll just start overpricing stuff. Yeah, that's the way to go. They probably still won't do it. No, probably not. You want to help them? Oh, I got it. This is from Coldwater Creek. One day, Holly's doing something in the... She needs a coupon for Coldwater Creek, so she gives them my opinion so I can give her the coupon. Well, now I'm on the freaking mailing list. So. so let that run some fuel out before you tighten it. Where's the tightener? Oh, we're going to have another air bubble. We're going to have to crack it there. I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Think that'll work? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> I don't go home smelling like fuel very often anymore. Used to all Will the today. Time. Used to all the time. Ramps down and everything well? Yeah, we probably should. Well, we gotta get some steering. If I air up the tires, the steering will probably work better. It'll help anyway, yeah. I'm always leery. I know you gotta blow tires up, but I'm always leery about blowing them up after they set for a long time. <laughs> of course, nobody knew what they were. Mm -hmm. He just figured out systematically that these... There's something there. Yeah. This is as dialed in as it gets. I got two more cans of ether. We came prepared. We gotta get steering before we do much else. Okay. Okay, let's make it go. Okay, here we go. Back it up and see if we can get that air out of the steering. Here we go. One more time on the steering. 
I had it, but I lost it. Yep, back down again. Good thing you got that high quality funnel. I know. It's getting a little like limp. <laughs> well, that happens. That's crazy. Yeah, well, one anyway. I didn't try the other one. Cool. Couple chains. We're on the road. Got power of steering fluid leaking out. That's so pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that might get better. It's been dry for a long time. Yeah. Fun to watch. It's fun to do. Hit the road. Didn't even need the bobcat. Man, I missed the pandemic. We made it back. Absolutely no fluids were spilled. Parking on death row. I'm not even real sure we got two. I think we got two. We definitely don't have three. There you go. It's your baby now. Uh -huh. Let's look at here. That. It's just running down, maybe. I think it's the throttle shaft. Probably. Sometimes if you let them soak for a while they get a little better but seals will swell back up i don't see any water leaking no nope. i don't know i've seen tractors that look worse i may not have had too many that are worse there's like a full-on biblical plague of flies in here that's it it runs sort of runs on two cylinders 
It will run on three cylinders though with a little shot of ether. So I think mechanically the engine is fine. It just has a fuel delivery problem. And that was a problem that we had the whole time we were working on it. You know, we couldn't get fuel out of the tank. We couldn't really get fuel through the filter and down to the pump even with our dummy tank. So it needs a total overhaul of the fuel system. Clean the tank, replace the lines, replace the filter, replace the mechanical lift pump, reseal the injection pump, clean the injectors, and it should be good to go. I'm surprised that it ran as well as it did. I'm sure it's all just blocked up with biodiesel gum and that stuff's pretty nasty. Anyway, it's fun doing these projects with my dad. It can be challenging to make a video out of it though. I hope you guys are able to follow along. Things move quickly and you know he and I have worked together a lot and he assumes I know what I'm doing and I assume he knows what he's doing and there's not a lot of explanation going on even when we're chatting we're usually not chatting about what we're actually doing so it's a little difficult to follow thanks a lot to the guys on patreon who are supporting this channel obviously going to an island and rescuing a turf tractor isn't really financially viable but you know guys throwing a little money in the hat definitely helps so check us out if you want you don't get anything extra but it helps make more of these videos so Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.